Well, hello again to all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching Georgia Beer Reviews. Back at you today with another one. I'm very excited about this. Um, I was in a gas station earlier today and I saw this. The Frio 6.0. I have never seen this before. I've heard about the Frio products. I th thought they were only available in Texas. At least they're very popular in Texas. I know a lot of people that live in Texas that can get this. Um, but it's not even brewed in Texas. It's Pilsner beer brewed and canned by Quality Brewers, Memphis, Tennessee. Probably should have done a little bit of research on this beer, but um, I did not. Memphis, Tennessee, though, makes me think that this is a city brewing product. A contract brew. Um... It says expires 5-26-2021, so we are well within the freshness date with this. Um, I'll post in the description whether or not this is City Brewing, but I'm pretty sure it is. I have never been able to find this. Like I said, I saw it in the gas station, and I snatched up the last two cans on the shelf. American-owned, American-brewed. No other information on the can. Kind of a cool, classic-looking can design. This is a 24 ounce can. It was like a dollar and some change. It was pretty cheap. So 6% alcohol by volume. I was thinking this was a an ice beer, but it's just listed as a Pilsner beer. Okay, so I got the frosty mug. Let's go ahead and crack into this bad boy, pour it up, and see what we're working with here. Beers like this, you want to drink ice cold. And this beer is ice cold. I think I can get the whole 24 ounce can in here. Yes, success. All right, so. It's a nice, um, it's not going to show up on your end, but I'm, I'm clearing out a small portion of the glass here to see what the appearance is. And it's a nice, light golden color, about a half finger head, nice stream of bubbles going up the glass. Really good Lager Pilsner appearance. You can actually see the bubbles going up the top of the glass. They're very effervescent, very bubbly. The aroma with this. Very malt forward, sweet and bready. Almost getting some fruit aromas with this that you get sometimes with cheaper malt liquor. Not quite grape, but there's a, a fruity, a weird fruity aroma with this. Nothing terrible though. Just doesn't scream super high quality, but it doesn't smell bad by any means. I'm not picking up on any hops whatsoever. It's definitely a malt forward beer, sweet and somewhat fruity aromas, but bready aromas as well. Some nice white bread crust type aromas there. All right. As you can see, the glass is clearing up still nice and effervescent, really a good looking beer in the glass. So I am ready to dive in. Cheers, guys. Mm. Not bad at all. I'm getting some nice bready malt character. A little bit of that sweetness comes through on the palate, but it doesn't taste fruity at all. It is nice and malty. A little bit of a caramel sweetness as well with this. Uh, nice, lightly toasted white bread notes, white bread crust. Um, no real hop character to speak of. It's definitely malty from the initial aroma to that first sip. All the way through the finish. So it's not really balanced in that sense. It tastes a lot like a malt liquor. Um... The 6% alcohol is masked very well. Carbonation is meaning the body is light to almost medium. It's crisp, it's clean, it's refreshing. The finish is mostly dry. It's nice and cold and super refreshing. 
I'm digging it. Um, is it as good as some of the more well-known malt liquors, Colt 45, King Cobra, Old English? No, but it's a solid beer. The alcohol is masked well. It's dirt cheap if you can find it. And I'm really enjoying this. So I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with an 86 out of 100. It's a solid B beer. It is... It's a good beer. Um, I think they did exactly what they set out to with this product. It's easy drinking, pretty light, refreshing. Alcohol's mass well, no off flavors. A slight fruity note on the aroma, but it doesn't translate to the palate, so nothing off with that, really. It's just more malt forward. There's no hops to really balance it out. Um, but if you're a malt lover like I am and you like malt liquor especially, I think you'd really love this. So 86 out of 100 for the Frio 6.0. That'll do it for this beer review, guys. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. And until next time, everybody, cheers.